Hilary Benn. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm pleased to follow the Honourable Member for Stevenage, whose amendments to the fire safety bill I have signed. I want to speak on behalf of my constituents in Leeds, including Hayley Tillotson, whose story has moved us all, who find themselves in desperate circumstances, not of their making. They saved up, they bought what they thought was the home of their dreams. It's now turned into a nightmare as the outer layers have been peeled back on each block to reveal the full horror underneath. Their homes are fire traps. They're worthless. They cannot borrow against them. They cannot sell them. They are trapped, trapped by waking watch bills, trapped by rising insurance, and trapped by the fear that they will be told they must pay to fix this, even though they are not in any way responsible. The impact on the mental health of my constituents is enormous because every day they wake up and are reminded of this nightmare with no apparent way out. And that's why today's debate is so important, because we need together on all sides of the House to give them hope by calling on the government to draw up a plan to sort this out. Ministers know that the Building Safety Fund won't deal with the problem. Why? Because the cost of making every home safe is way in excess of the money allocated so far. And we know they're looking at a loan scheme. Now, I'm not opposed to a loan scheme in principle, provided leaseholders are not required to pay the loans back. After all, they didn't fail to put in the fire breaks. They didn't cover the blocks in unsafe cladding. So why on earth should they have to pay? This is a story of monumental regulatory failure, a story of flats being built as cheaply as possible, in many cases without even complying with the building regulations. Like the minister, I applaud those freeholders and developers who've taken responsibility and sorted things out. But I deplore those who've tried to walk away and claim it's nothing to do with them. Those who developed and constructed the building should pay. The industry as a whole should pay. And the government should pay because they allowed it to happen. We all have a responsibility for that. But the most important thing of all, Madam Deputy Speaker, is that we act now to bring this crisis to an end because that's what the leaseholders I represent and the Leeds cladding scandal who've done such a great job want. And what do they want more than anything else? They just want to feel safe and secure in their homes once again so they can get on with their lives. And we have a responsibility to make sure that this now happens. Thank you.